This should be a polished presentation. But this isn't computer class. It's his class. I'm Barrett Doak, and I teach eighth grade U.S. history. Be creative. What makes this colony unique? Having the technology completely changes the entire dynamic of a classroom. I get to spend more face-to-face -face time with my kids individually than I've ever been able to do. On this day, they're working on a shared PowerPoint project with each class editing, adding, and learning along the way. Um, so what do they have in Delaware so far? I went to the PDF. This class is like really visual and it keeps it much more interesting. I like that it's very hands-on and that I can see everybody's thinking process. So let's say you're on Team Virginia. It's personalized learning. It's instant feedback. Having a pulse on all 30 kids in a room and being able to identify who needs your help without having to slow down. 29 other students. One of the things I like about Mr. Doak's class is that he teaches in a really nice way. It's really cool and I think I'm really lucky to use technology in the classroom. They might have grown up with a, a cell phone. They've never done what we're doing. Don't assume this new way of learning comes naturally for this generation. They're good on cell phones with Snapchat. That doesn't mean they're good in PowerPoint or know how to bookmark a page. We assume they know how to be a good digital citizen. Which they don't, right? Like, you have to teach a kid technology. It's a learning process for teachers, too, who must first figure out what will work best in their classroom for their students. It all starts with a problem. What are you trying to do? What problem are you having? Which tool of the variety of tools that you have are you going to be able to use? Sometimes it's tech, sometimes not. And when the answer is tech, Doak says it only works if teachers remain engaged. It's not a babysitter. It's not a placeholder for something. It's a tool that allows you as the teacher to get in there and to spend time with your kids because that's your job. 